do you want to make all your home lights smart and more reliable without necessarily buying some of those more expensive uh, smart bulbs? Then I've got the solution for you here. So welcome to Rich Man Poor Tech. I'm going to show you how to change any light in your house. I'm going to make those smart. Now I've been testing for uh, quite a few weeks here and I'm going to actually install one here so I'm going to show you. I've been testing a few smart sockets actually. So I've got two different brands now. They're both using the same app, uh, Smart Life app. Um, they've got some slight differences, although they actually look the same. Both of these have been using faultlessly. Don't seem to have any problems with them, so I'm going to show you them now. So these switches, so they just look like that. Glass panel with a touch sensitive button. They connect to your Wi-Fi. They operate um, all your lights through the Smart Light. Uh, app so if you want to use say, a smart a smart device like an echo or the google home for example then you can actually voice control them so i have two brands here keto tech and these ones are mo's so they both use the same app both look very similar so obviously stick around to the end of this video and i'll show you some examples of what you can actually do with uh, smart lights and stuff now both of these uh, different brands they all look very similar um before i get into telling you a bit more about them, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for free uh, for upcoming videos. And as always, all the links to these devices that I'm using are in the description with affiliate links. Now there are two different types to talk about, so I'll go into the different type of, depending on what circuits you have on your house. You can actually get these where you don't use a neutral, but my house is actually wired up with a neutral, so I'll go through that in a minute. Now this is an entertainment video I am actually going to install them, but please do not follow my instructions. It is not a training video. Um, I am actually a qualified electrician, but I'm not teaching you how to do it. You know, it's just purely for your entertainment. I do know what I'm talking about. They are easy to do, but if you're not a competent person, then please get a, a qualified electrician to fit them for you. So if we just take the front plate off, as you can see here, hopefully it's focused in. You've got the holes here for fitting to your back box. As I mentioned before, they're relatively deep, so you probably want the slightly deeper back boxes if you've got, but they are pretty easy to, to actually fit. Again, on the front here, you've got live, so that's your power in. Uh, you've got L1, which is your switch live. And on these ones, you've got a, a neutral. Again, if you're not a competent person, please get your local electrician to do this. So I'm going to install this dimmer switch here. Quick note about dimmers. Not all lights are dimmable, so please check your light fitting is dimmable. For example, this light fitting here, that's already dimmable. It's got a dimmable transformer in it. So I'm going to start fitting this light switch. I'm going to go through a little bit and talk to you. If this isn't really your sort of thing and you're going to get someone else to do it, then please skip to the next bit on the video. I'll put a link in below and that will sort of go through more to the operations. So the first thing you do, you know, a warning, danger of death, electricity kills. Make sure you isolate your electricity at the consuming unit or the fuse board. Do not, and I repeat, do not just think that because your bulbs aren't lit, then you've got no uh, electricity to your room. Make sure you isolate it, make sure you test it, make sure you proved that there's no live electricity before you even attempt to do something like this. I've turned it off at the fuse board, I've isolated it uh, to stop anyone turning it on. So I'm removing, so I'm removing a couple of the screws. I'm pulling out the dimmer. So as you see here, I've got, actually I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see. So I've got a quick, where's it, quick voltage tester here. I know it's actually isolated, but I'm just doubly checking making sure there's no electricity connected to this before I start disconnecting the wires. So here, obviously you've got the, the uh, CPC, the earth, just remove that. So there's no put place in the new light for that. So that's gonna be fitted to the back box, keep the circuit going. On here, the neutrals at the moment, all connected into a uh, connector box. So that means we've got actually at the circuit. So 
that. If you see in here, it's a bit hard to see from this. Try and do it that way. There's the live that's looped in and out, and there's the live that goes to the switch. So, as you see, they're all red. In this instance, it all means that they could be a live wire. The electricity could be in them, so that's going to be the switch wire. Those are the live in and outs. Get a flat screwdriver. Just goes in the top. Bit of a twist. So move that. So a bit of a close up of the um, dimmer switch. Brighter dimmer, and that's the power. So now we want to put the live in and out into the live in and the out is the switch wire here and the neutrals into here. So the live in is going to be the two wires. Like such. So I looped over, so it's equivalent to two wires. And this back box hasn't got a fit in, I'm going to have to crimp a, uh, an eye on that. So just getting the neutral wires. And those all in there, continuing that circuit. Again, okay, checking everything is in nice and snug. Um, earth wire connected to the back box here. So I just screw that plate in. So I'm just using some normal back box screws. Just screw that in and get that square. And then just clip the um, face plate back on. And we'll go and turn on the electricity. So right, let's get on to actually setting up your device on the Smart Life app. So as you see here, I open the Smart Life app. Um, I go up to the plus at the top there, I add a device, and then it will discover the device. If it doesn't discover it, you can actually select one of the actual devices on here and then add that manually. But it discovers the device automatically. It adds it to your uh, Wi-Fi. So here's the dimmer switch now being added. As I'd already set it up to work with my Alexa, so it automatically set up to work my new light to uh, light switch to work with Alexa. So here in the app, we've got the controls, so we can turn it on, we can turn it off through the app. We can change the brightness on a slider. Um, you can change the light types from an LED incandescent or halogen. You can also set the range here, so that's how um, bright it'll be when it first comes on. As we're going on here now, you've got a countdown timer, so you can actually set how long you want it before it turns off. You can set schedules for when it comes on. And you can also change that backlight on the actual switch itself. And then you can actually run all scenes, and this is where you connect to the uh, Alexa app or your uh, Google Smart Home app. So, so hopefully you can see the backlight on here. And as we see, touch to go off. Touch to bring it on. Dimmer. And brighter, all touch control on the actual light switch itself. So that's your smart switch installed. 
But what are some of the actual advantages of a smart switch over, say, a smart bulb? Um, one of them is the manual control. Now, this might sound a bit different when you're talking about smart tech, but if you turn off a device like a smart bulb with a physical switch, then it's not going to actually come on when you ask it to. Where with the smart switch, you can still use, let's say, voice control, you can physically turn it on, or you can actually use things like your smartphone, GPS tracking, etc., to turn on, say, your switch as you approach the house, so you're not entering a dark house. If someone has turned it off on the switch, then that's not going to happen. Some of the other advantages is it has uh, in the Smart Life app, you can actually look and set up how much it's costing you for electricity. So you can actually follow how much the each light in your house is costing you. So if you're one of those people who like to keep track on your spending, then that is an advantage. One of the other advantages is, and this is one of the um, ones that's not talked about too much, but one of the advantages is you can actually set up for other things to turn off with your switch. So you, not only can you turn off your main light, but you can maybe turn off all the accent lights in the same room at the same time. You can also set it to turn off other devices that maybe go through a smart plug. So you turn off your light switch as you're leaving in the morning and it'll turn off, say, your radio, your TV, anything that's connected to a smart plug. So this could be an advantage and also help save you money. So this is one of the reasons why I recommend the uh, smart light switches. If you're looking for some more smart tech, then please uh, click on the video on one of these sides. I can never remember which side it is. And I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.